Hey there, Angry Faithful. I just wanted to drop in, bend your ear a little bit, get your attention. So if you're not listening, drop what you're doing and pay attention to me. Because I'm here to inform you that not only can you get your daily, maybe if you're binging it, I'm not sure, that's entirely up to you, but you can multiply your doses of angry me fuckery by paying attention to all of the platforms upon which you can find either the dulcet tones of my voice and David's voice or my pretty face and David's not-so-pretty face. Anyways, digressing. We, not only on we are on YouTube, we are on Spotify, we're on Rumble, we're on Google, Apple Podcast. We have a TikTok page. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook. So if you find yourself fuckery deprived, curl up with a nice hot mug of shut the fuck up and just listen. Open those ear holes and be prepared to be cream pied like it's the first time. Thanks for listening. Welcome, Angry Faithful. We got Chris Jacka again. And, and you know what? I'm going to put you on a staple on this. You're a host now. I mean, you've been here long enough and everything. You're, you're, you're an extra host. Yeah, what is this? I've already talked to people about it. I was like, oh, he's our host. I was like, oh, you got somebody, <laughs> you, you got an extra host now? I was like, yeah, we all talk all the time and everything. We, I, I, He has my number. I have his number. And sometimes we, we talk about coming out. Uh, either I go down to San Antonio or he comes up here and do something and everything. We spoon, you know, no big deal. Yep. It's going to happen. But uh, today we're going to talk about mead. And uh, the, love it. Yes, uh, it it was one of the things we ended up talking about, uh, and I still have to find that book. I really do. Uh, It's what got me started in me, me and my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law now, but he's been my brother for like since high school. Right. But we made me, but we made like gallons me. We made like a couple of crates full of feed and we ended up donating Oh, of course. Donations yeah. and other people partake in so this. They would, buy, they would buy a bottle, and there just happened to be something inside the bottle. No, that no they, they didn't. Not. They didn't buy the bottle. We had to get the bottle back. It was a rare thing because those bottles were freaking expensive. Because we 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 ended up getting yeah, exchange glass program. Glass. Yeah, yeah, it was an exchange program. <laughs> it was. It was. It was like, is this going to a charity? Fuck yeah, it is. I ammo charity. <laughs> half it goes to the meat and half it goes to the ammo. <laughs> it's called My Slush Fund uh, LLC. <laughs> We're going to see what we can do to <laughs> how much explosives we can buy with this. Yeah, exactly. That's a terrible contribution, right? Yeah. Pretty sure you can write that off on the IRS. I, I need to double check my tax form, but I'm pretty sure there's a section in there for uh, explosives. That would be weird if there was. <laughs> I might actually do my no, I can't say that. I, can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually check that out. I might actually do my taxes at that point. No. Then you then you have a <laughs> uh, <laughs> You can he's having Dave, I can't make this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> So listen, uh, yeah, kind of in jail right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you bail me out? I can't bail you out, but I'm gonna get you out. Wait, what? If I get what? you out. Yeah. Just like, how? Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> I know some guys. Yeah, I know some people. Really? <laughs> you're that connected? I mean, I'm connected, but you're that connected. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't know a few people that could probably make it happen, but you know. Yeah, I was I was actually talking to a friend of mine about uh the problem that we were talking about last time about hackers. Yes. And I I, I know a lot of hackers and they're like, Yeah, if it's connected to the internet, they can they can do that. I was like, why would they do that? That because they're assholes. Yeah. But they're, they're, it's amazing how many times, like, you hear about these, you know, DDoS attacks or any of this like that. Like, yes, there's some that are malicious and they're, and they're after that. 
you'd be amazed how many people are doing it just because they're bored, just because yeah. they're they think it's funny. Yeah, it, it, I, it, I don't I don't get it. I, I can't get into that. I, that. I mean, I've been in rocks and in an abandoned building before and everything. I mean, it's yeah. that kind of maliciousness. Yeah, I think that's the only one. on a much larger scale. Yeah, <laughs> it's like on a global scale. I mean, you want to talk with Russia and China, you know, go, by all means, go ahead. You know, you, you have my blessing at that point, but, you know. We, we're kids from the 80s. We've been we've been uh, uh, brainwashed and thinking of, you know, Russians as the enemy, <laughs> which they are. But we've always, even if you told us, it's like, Russia's our ally now. No, they're not. Uh, no, come they're on, not. They're barely our ally, even in World War II. Like, come on, let's let's be real. Yeah, that is. That was an ally of convenience. Let's let's. There, there is. I, I love that one story where they had a capture of uh, American soldiers and uh, Russian soldiers in one area, and yep. they separated. And because the American uh, soldiers had Red Cross and everything, they would get like bread and everything from uh, from that, and the Russians didn't have anything. So they, the Americans, had to find a way to push. Uh, food to the Russian side, and, and they came back like years later to interview some of the guys that were. Uh, I think it was an interview in like the eighties or uh, late nineties or early nineties, late eighties, early nineties, and and they had a like uh, a news report on it. It was so freaking. It, it was it, in that time and time frame and that kind of war zone and everything. It's nice to hear. Like I mean, even Marcus Luttrell's little. Uh, uh, story yeah about that that group of people that protected him it, it, it's a war zone it's they were coming after these people and everything and they they were like no he's in our home there yeah you don't fuck with us exactly. you go Get i mean you know they, they, yeah exactly <laughs> and some people uh, even in a war zone and everything you still have people like that and that's just it just shows that we still have a little bit of our humanity left. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, no, no group is one hundred percent all that. Like you, it's that's that's why it's so puzzling to see people get just get lumped in. It's like, oh, all these people are bad. Well, you can't say that though. Yeah, I was like, I was talking to somebody, and they were saying uh, to tar, uh I'll just say really bad things about uh, Middle Eastern people and everything. I was like, have you been over there? It's like. No, man, but they're all. I was like, no, they're not. It's like you just know, okay, but no, you know, no, you don't. Until you're actually in that area talking with people, and, and it's like people here. I mean, you got areas that they just like, man. I was like during the riots and everything. I've I talked to people that were like, man, I wish they would stop doing that. You know how many businesses they're ruining? How how bad they're destroying their community because what they're mm-hmm. doing? It, it's ridiculous their own community too that's that's what i don't understand it's like shitting in your own living room yeah and then somebody else (laughs) you're the reason i did this Uh, Mm -hmm. so and she's usually white women that are fucking it up (laughs) right (laughs) damn white women (laughs) ugly white women very rarely do you get the hot ones doing that (laughs) well it, it that's a different type of uh you get the hot white crazy ones, then you know that's that's a different scale of uh, of activity. Then, for some reason, you don't hear all the rants. <laughs> so she keeps on talking about that. She she stays at the house all the time, and we do like weird shit, and that never comes up. Really? See, that's the the key is to keep them occupied. You can't give them any. You know, it probably it probably happens, but you know the, the sex is really good, and you just fucking blank it out. Oh, yeah, you get you get the crazy out when there's too much idle time. So you got to keep them occupied. It's it's like uh, like Ted Bunny. He got he got all those hot women and everything like that, but yeah. they didn't. The the women that stayed with him when was were in a relationship. They probably saw the bollies being dragged, but they just never really just like wanted to put two and two together. Oh yeah. It's 100% yeah, but me, <laughs> me, <laughs> uh, 
and, and we need somebody else to like keep us like get just just the cue card there just keep back on topic. Back yeah, on topic. no, no, no. That that person would have like you know a really really tough job, especially with me. You, yeah, you have to roll like darting mountains. Like Dave's not talking to girl again. They put the score up. Maybe they get you know, <laughs> back on topic. Right. But, uh, no, we were we were talking off air last time about uh, man, I'm 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 really interested in about the Huckleberry one. I'm, we need to find yeah. out how you can get some Huckleberry, fresh Huckleberries, I, or, or at least frozen Huckleberries. I, I still think that my my best bet, unless I actually you know can can make a mead while I'm up there, you know somewhere, uh, I'm I'm gonna have to try to get some. Dried, I think. Uh, uh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose the you're, not gonna, you're gonna lose a lot of the uh, juices and everything. A lot of the flavor uh, profile to it. I will. I'm gonna lose more in the just because the dry is gonna suck up more, uh, more the the juice. Uh, well, it's, or more of the liquid. Yeah. I'm gonna have more loss there overall, but it's. It's so typical with fresh fruit. You don't want to leave it more than like a couple of weeks, because otherwise you're going to start pulling out some some off flavors from that. Yeah, you're going to get bitterness that's coming through with the the pulp and things. I think I think it's like but, forty two to seventy two hours. Yeah. So well, I've I've found a couple of weeks. You you have quite a bit of tolerance there if you're using uh, frozen because you always do frozen, uh, frozen and then thawed, and that that actually bursts the cell wall so you're pulling more juice out you're getting okay. more flavor out yeah absolutely hey uh, quick question because i gotta go to south dakota uh in uh november do you think they would have some in south dakota because i can go to the walmart here, here. No. oh yeah uh like i said if you're gonna find them now they're gonna be dry which again is a viable option you're just going to have to let it soak longer. You probably have to get a little bit more as well. Another thing I'd be interested in trying is, and I don't even know if this would be an option, but uh, huckleberry juice, just a hundred percent juice. Uh, that one you might be able to do concentrate if you can get huckleberry concentrate. Even if it's concentrate, it's fine. I, it just needs to be a hundred percent juice. Uh, okay. Even if it's concentrated, that would work, and. I would add that because that's what I did with my cherry one here is I added some 100% cherry juice in secondary. So my primary, I actually did the, the frozen fruit. I did a pound of frozen fruit in my, uh, with, it's a, a gallon. And then uh, in secondary, I added some juice. And man, that really, it's sweeter. Uh, it, it just kind of depends on what flavor profile you're looking for as, as far as if you're looking for a dry or sweet. Um, adding juice is typically going to make it a little bit more sweeter. You don't have to necessarily back sweeten with any more honey just because you're getting so much more sugar with that juice. But uh, if you're looking for a, a dry meat, then you could even add dried in secondary as well and just do uh, an extra week or so. Let those soak in and get that. And you're going to pull flavor out of there. You're not necessarily gonna pull the juices, but you're gonna pull flavor. Yeah, that was that was a uh, we we tried it a couple of times, but we just regular just we we like the uh, profile. It was one of those things is every once in a while we we wanted a different flavor from our mead, and we would do that. But we we usually stuck with the regular mead, and that ours was freaking potent. We made ours potent. I'm, oh I'm yeah, no they the distillery. Yeah, so that was like uh, I've seen, and and I've been diving pretty deep into you know videos and tutorials and things like that. And uh, I know a lot of people will talk about they want to get to a specific point and then they 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 kill their yeast. So they'll either do you know sodium sorbitate or or yeah, I'm sorry, potassium sorbitate, or uh, or they'll pasteurize or they'll do something to actually stop fermentation but me i actually like i just want to i want to reach saturation i want to get that thing i want every single bit of alcohol that yeast can ring out of it and if i have to back sweeten it a couple of times and and 
kickstart fermentation again, hey, that's fine. So I want I want as much alcohol as I can possibly pull out of those because I only bought them in sixteen ounce bottles because all of mine is basically just for for my own enjoyment and for you know anybody I might feel like giving a bottle to. So I want something that's going to be potent, but uh, so you can have, like I said, it's going to, it's a little bit more labor intensive in that you're going to have to probably back sweeten once or twice yeah, just to get to that level. Cause I like something that's also pretty, uh, I like it on the sweeter side. I don't like a super dry meat. Yeah. That was, that was our thing when we, I just sent you uh, the book that we had. Hell yeah. That that's the book that we used, uh, but it was the same thing with uh, when we started uh, brewing our own beer too, because we did beer and wine, and we'd have oh man, why is it when you're like dirt poor and you end up doing your own stuff and everything, life's a little bit better? Absolutely, it's when you it get tastes better too, and that's what I've noticed because I've had uh, so it was like a, uh, a a Viking restaurant opened up here in town. Which, yeah, by the way, you're talking about that, and one of these not coming down there and go. Uh, yes, at least absolutely. for tack, me and you are going there because I oh. want to go down there. But they, uh, they had had just opened when I went to go visit them, and they had uh, they had store bought meat, no. and I could tell. I was like, "This isn't homemade." Like it, it's, and you would think it being commercially produced, it would be. It's like when you, uh, well, it's like when you clean something so well, and it does. Uh, that was the same thing with, uh, with cooking. Yeah, okay. cooking. You're trying to make the uh, the same recipes where you get in the restaurant, but they have it to where uh, it's uh, factory made. So right, they have measure the ingredients. They have all the stuff and everything like that, and you can't put. And I've I've made stuff that. Uh, like uh, chicken and gnocchi, uh, like mm. the Olive Garden chicken and gnocchi. Sam yeah, yeah. found found the recipe, did the recipe, put a little bit of stuff in mine, and it turned out like a hundred thousand times better. I was yeah. like that uh, uh, chili recipe I told you about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting put a little bit of uh, calf in it, just like a teaspoon in it, and the uh, the actual flavor. It, I don't know why it just it's it's like a big big improvement just put a little because a lot of people what had happened was is a lot of people put cocoa powder into the uh chili for some reason and it gives it a little bit of profile but if you put like uh coffee into it it's a different profile and it just enhances the entire chili and it just surprised me yeah there was a friend of mine that that would do uh the mole paste Okay, she would she would put mole paste in in there, and uh, it, it gave it something interesting. I was, I'm not a big fan of mole, so I didn't. You could definitely taste it in there. Um, she wouldn't use a lot, but <laughs> still, it's amazing how much that carries forward. Well, uh, we had a they they had this recipe for uh, cowboy beans. And they were like, "Oh, we put we put some natty light in there, and it it changed the profile entirely." And I was like, "Yeah, it does. It tastes like fucking natty light." Exactly. He's <laughs> like, "Don't do this again." I was like, "Well, we <laughs> like it." I was like, "Use a stout or something that actually has some flavor that's that's going to impart on there." Like, oh yeah, like yeah, if you want something if you're going to add something like that, you want something heavier that's actually going to you know come forward. Yeah, that's the reason why I switched. I mean, nowadays everybody's like drinking like light beers or something like that, and I'll drink like Shinerbach because I love the taste for Guinness. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, drink, I'll drink something that's like it's a darker beer. Even oh, my God. coffee, even my coffee now. A lot of people, uh, there's some people that can't stand how I make my coffee because it's a lot darker now. I mean, mm -hmm. I use I use the uh, uh, Chemex, and it just it changes one. It changes the profile, and I need. I need to stop using the uh, metal mesh because I know that's changing the profile too, but it's yep. just easier. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's just easier doing – I mean, 
if you have somebody making it for you, yeah, I'll I'll totally take it and taste the difference and know it's be- it's going to be better. But when you when you're in a kind of a rush and everything like that, that's the reason why I mostly make my coffee on the weekends instead of the weekdays is because right. I take my time with my coffee. Actually make it right, yeah, yeah. And I I just love the taste of it and everything like that. Yeah, but Dude, Shiner Bohemian Black. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Oh. You you're about to change my life, brother. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. You. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to. Matter of fact, uh, yeah. Show me the. Show me the bottle, man. Because I'm about to go to Specs just to go uh, get me some. Oh, yeah. That's definitely going in my refrigerator today. Dude, that this. It's 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 a step above even just regular box. Really, this stuff is is fantastic. So it's it's a it's not super heavy like a lot of stouts are. Uh-huh. It, uh huh. It you're getting that that flavor. It, it uh, it's the Black Beard's delight of Schneiderbach. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. I kind of don't like the Black Beard's delight. But I okay. It, I say it's flavor. It's, 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 it's a, you're getting that bold, the boldness. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's that's what I mean by that. Okay, I got you. You don't like blackbeards? I couldn't. Oh, fuck your friends. You know how people. It's either, you know no, it's people. either the blackbeard. No. Okay, I know it's one of the special ones. It's either the VTech one or or blackbeard to the light. Uh, I think it might be. It, it's either one of those two, but I haven't tried them in a while. I couldn't. I couldn't stand the VTech one. I haven't really had that much. That's I, I don't really consider that to be one of our core brands. That's that's one of our. Well, it's Kyle Lamb's brand, really. And yeah, it is. But that's why it's not one of the the mainstream. I guess. Yeah. That's that's one thing I, I I do like about your company, though, or not the company you work for. How about that? <laughs> People, it was like, hey, can you get us that get guy's number and everything like that? I was like, all right, but he's kind of a nobody. Oh fuck, I did that. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, is uh, they make they make uh, uh, coffee profiles for uh, individual companies like Ranger Up and mm-hmm. all, all the companies that are technically friends with you right yeah uh but they and they go out and from what uh your boss says is they go out and they have the people come in and pl- uh favor profile their uh flavors mm-hmm. what they would want and i'm like yeah they'll actually oh, do you know, instead of just like putting it in a package and labeling it a different label right it's not like it's just yeah it's it's not just this coffee and just throw it in a bag and just call it. Yeah, that bag. was that was that was me and a couple of friends. Of mine, uh when the company first started, mm. uh, the reason why we didn't because we do that we would see like uh, a a newer uh, coffee company or or a new, and we would just we would have when we drank it it was just like oh this is like Folgers we spent like an extra twenty bucks and we started getting the Yaw guy stuff and we we're like. Oh, this is a totally different animal. Exactly. This, this is a different beast. We 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 messed up. We, yep. Because it took me like a good two to three years to even start up to drink black heart coffee. And that's our uh, that's our. Yeah, I'm silently judging you. Uh, I cannot. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's it's. You're lucky. You're cute, or I wouldn't talk to you at all. Fuck yeah! Thank God for that. I'm a I'm a good color too. I good I give good hugs. <laughs> good hug. My cuddles are exquisite. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot to tell you this the la- last couple of times because I had this thought, and I don't know if I wanted to do it on air so I can actually do it. Do it. Uh, getting a shirt that says uh, 
no gun uh hugs not guns and oh, start going out to like ranges and everything like that and seeing if i can get people to actual uh try to change my mind because i hate guns and everything yeah out and i was like dude i changed that guy's mind oh dave no you didn't change his mind he just <laughs> shoot all the time and he goes out and, and has but people you dance around and basically people. used your bullets <laughs> That's my idea. And I, I was like, that would that would fucking work. That would be interesting. <laughs> That'd be good. That's like that's like the uh I'd be like a veteran doing a uh, stolen valor fucking video. No, it, we, well make it make a, a uniform all fucked up and, and then just go out in public and see how many people could actually <laughs> confront you. Well that would be I I've been actually thinking about making that video. I do it like that because I got a friend that makes T-shirts for pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. make, making making that video, uh, and 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 just going out and everything, and just as as I leave that area, leave that area, it's like, why is he putting on a suit? Why is he putting on a gun? Why is he put? Ah, oh, motherfucker! That <laughs> asshole! <laughs> he got one over on us. Oh, he's here every weekend. <laughs> See, but <laughs> he's a regular. He's fine. <laughs> he comes yeah, here. Keep the t-shirt on when you actually start shooting, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You do the shooting oh, and everything. Sure. You get keep the t-shirt. And then you go out to your car and you put on your actual shirts because you don't want anybody else in town to know you wear that shirt. And you <laughs> and you or or you go up to like Walmart or something like that or Academy, somewhere you know there's gonna be a like a lot of gun guys and everything. Yeah. Or you go you go up there and you like have like a poster board and everything up at Academy, but they but the uh, the the people up there already know what you're doing. And they keep their mouth shut because they think it's fucking hilarious. Right. That's and they're like, so and you're just, it's like, why Why would you allow that person to be there that says he's anti-gun and everything? You know what, man? I'm going to take you out to the range and show you what a man is. It's like, okay, sir, we'll try this. But I'm seriously, I don't know what you think you're going to change my mind. It's like this is very hey, scary. you just see the like the 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 store clerks and everything just laughing their fucking ass off. <laughs> Dude, you go out, you go up to the let, range. Let him, let him get you to the to the range and then out shoot him. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That that would be my main problem if if I did if I if I like legitimately did it in like real life and everything. Yeah. That would be my legitimate problem. Because I know what the fuck I'm doing. Exactly. And, and like as soon as you start handling, know what they the fuck start... they're doing. Yeah. Well, you're not flagging anybody. You're actually checking. You keep down. Yeah. Maybe you're like, some some doesn't add up. This is uh... yeah. This is this is really weird. <laughs> is, I mean, he he just went out there and he said, "Fuck these people." Yep. And he's anti-gun. <laughs> yeah, that'd well, be interesting. It's one I, of those things. Is where it's like it's like I'm poor, so I gotta <laughs> figure out how to. It's either that or going to the street corner, and I don't mind doing that either. Uh, yeah, you know, show some ankle out there. You be you be all right. No, I just have my mouth open and as big as I can. <laughs> like a little baby bird. Hang a sign around your neck says "Feed me." <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Tie, tie my shirt up. Yeah. <laughs> um, ready for bullets. <laughs> a big table, just put it on your stomach. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Put put a sign insert here on the back. <sighs> Entrance only. <laughs> Entrance only. <laughs> the colon's <laughs> clean. <laughs> what does this have to do with mead? Damn, I have dude. no idea. 
I have no fucking clue. This is the reason why you I get... drink a bunch of mead and then go in and do all that. That's what it is. No, you got to do it stone server so they don't pick you up for uh uh uh. What was that fucking thing? Public intoxication. Yeah, public intoxication. Yeah, as long I do as you're not stumbling, you're okay. Yeah, I have it like pin, pin you up <laughs> like one of those freaking dolls. <laughs> you know, get, you get a harness and everything. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it just it just, it just, it just set it up. And just set it up, like have a harness and everything, like you're one of those mannequins and everything. And like, oh, did you? And they put like money in, in your thing. It's like, oh, did you need to me to suck you off or Oh, your kids are here. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> move them aside so we can get down to business. I'm gonna unhook this and we can just go around the corner and dump right? and yeah. pull this off, man. Ear, earmuffs. Yeah. Just close your eyes, earmuffs. You're good to go. Nowadays it's so easy. I'm sorry. I just picture this. You give it. I was like, I got, I got, I got an iPad for the kid and some headphones. They don't know it's anything. <laughs> free Wi Fi. He'll be fine. He's got YouTube. No, I got downloaded beforehand. I'm saying. <laughs> God, we're so fucked up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I have to say this, none of our companies that we work for or the company that I own endorse any one of us doing any kind of this stuff. Any opinions expressed in this podcast are the opinions of this expressed individual and not that of the parent company involved. Not that they are involved, but... You have that memorized. Did they have to... Act... Did they no, have to... I actually have to say that before. Oh, really? No. <laughs> Usually, yeah, when I'm expressing yeah. opinions, it's I'm you. <laughs> well, I, <I'm, laughs> I do have to. I I do have to kind of be careful sometimes because, you know, they they tell you you go to events and it's like, well, just be yourself. It's like, <laughs> you sure you want that? <laughs> yeah, that would that would that would be my problem. It's like, hey, be yourself, Dave. You have your books. You know what to not to say. Just wave. Why, why is that co- guy just handing out coffee and smiling? Oh, he can't talk. Oh man, we're so sorry. No, he can talk. No, he's, not. But he's not allowed to talk when he's getting paid. Last time someone, oh man. Listen, I'm pretty good though. You see me at events. I'm not that bad. I'm when when we're all, keep it, keep it there's a big on. difference when we're at your area where you have to be like, uh, but when we're away from our area, yeah. Away from your area and everything like that, you're like, oh, that's true. When I'm away from the table, that's true. yes. When you, <laughs> I, I, dude, hand hand of God, I want to do when you're at an event and see if I can get your head to explode and get you to talk some really fucked up. She's like, I can't do it, dude. Stop, stop, stop. And you're just, I okay. It's 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 come close a few times because there's there's been some people that come up and again. Disclaimer: This, this is just my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, they, they have come up and and have said some, <laughs> just some shit. They'll start going off because they start feeling comfortable with you. And a lot of a lot of guys, you know, or well, not guys, but people, they'll come up and. and is that is it the I fucked the cat? <laughs> my mom called me fucker cat. Too. It's not quite there. No, the worst is when they they'll come up and because they feel comfortable. In in you know with the company and, and with us yeah yeah, and yeah, yeah. the company it. actually brings in people and then they start everybody talking feel the part of it and it's like they'll go off and some Alex Jones bullshit and it's just oh you know, kind of just like <laughs> uh huh uh huh and I, and I'll start like trying to find something else to to start focus on or you know somebody walk by and I'll be like oh yeah so you need help with something like I'm dude yeah. I didn't do that with Chad Prather and, and get away and give this guy a hint because I can't tell him to fuck off and go away because you're weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that because it's part yeah. of your job. Your customer service, customer service is a different breed and animal. But I had to do that with uh, Chad Prather when we were at the uh, uh, charity event last year. Yeah, the Vet Fest uh, VFW. Yeah, hey, the VFW. No, DFW. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Anyways. 
uh, I was talking to, I went over and this, and you could, you could tell when someone's uncomfortable talking to somebody. You can yeah. tell. And I went over there. I was like, hey, Chad, is it all right if I get a couple of uh, uh, notes on how you do your podcast and everything over over on my area for like, you know, just, just two minutes, just two minutes, sir. And he's like, yeah, sure. We went over there. It's like, oh, what did you want to know? I was like, no, dude, you were uncomfortable. I was like, dude, you have fucking no idea. And then we started having a conversation and everything. Yeah. And he was like, man, thank you so much. I was like, yeah, just, just cue me next time. He was like, okay, so you don't need anything? I was like, no, no, not really. I mean, unless you want me on your podcast and I can boost mine. That's the only thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it, and he told me, he told me, it's like, man, whenever you're in the uh, Dallas Fort Worth area, just see, go, go by this address and we'll see if I have you on. It's like, well, I'm busy most of the time. It's like, I get that. But he's, yeah. he, he, we were just chumming up. It's like, okay, uh, do your round. Yeah. yeah. Go down. Yeah, okay. Sometimes, man, it's, you get, you, <laughs> you kind of get, get that quicksand and it's almost impossible to get out. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, it and it gets it gets really weird. It, yeah, you know, I've and had, like I said, they get comfortable with you, and that's like, oh, I can start, you know, and they're they're like, y'all are like me. So we're, we're gonna there. talk about yes. Yeah, but it's like, oh, dude, dude. I've I've actually had that the where they send me. Uh, I had this. Uh, it was when I started doing the podcast and everything. I don't know how it happened, but this person started sending because. People send me stuff to look at and research, yeah. and, and hey, maybe this will be a good topic for you and everything. I ended up uh, – the, there was this one chick that I used to work with, and she started sending me, like, uh, videos off of YouTube that are now taken down. Uh, <laughs> even even, even I, I have a video on my phone that I, I've been wanting to send you. And it's one of those things. It's like I don't know if I should send this to him. It's already it's already taken care of because yeah. hackers accidentally got his uh, TikTok account and caught rid of it. I don't know how. Yeah. That happened. By the way, you're welcome. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> anyways, it, it it was it's and the stuff this chick sent me was all racism, like heavy, heavy. Heavy, heavy yeah. racism stuff, and I was like, "Block, that's not. Okay. We're not. <laughs> we're not dealing with that. No. I mean, yeah. me and Johnny's both said it. Anybody that that knows me knows me. I've had I've had some really weird racism stuff happen to me at one point in time, right? And we don't deal with that stuff. We exactly. I do not anybody, and, it, and it's stupid, and it's. It it takes too much enemy uh, energy to actual to hate something that much. I don't right. get that stuff. But like of all things, you're gonna hate somebody over skin color. No, no, no. You hate somebody for their choice of beer or their sports team. That's what you hate people for. Yeah, the way well, God. Of. And- like on the on, on on our sports show, I can't have you and Johnny going. I'm I'm literally thinking of going up to go get like uh, a mouth guard and maybe a helmet or something like that, and maybe some uh, because y'all verbally beat my ass every time. I'm, you know, but lovingly, it's it's uh yeah, it's it, 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 it's we we beat you because we love you. <laughs> Uh, that's so messed up. <laughs> like we would have to slap you around. I mean, yeah, yeah. Why are you bruised up like that? They said some things that really hurt. God, I can't wait to. I, I can't wait to go uh, hang out with you. Yeah, man. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, uh, did I? I didn't send you that stuff. If you're actually interested of in going to the uh, vet fest, let me send you that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've gotten a couple of emails from people, and I had talked to uh, to our uh, corporate giving staff. We'll basically have to run some budget. And, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> the way those usually work, it's just kind of a, uh, yeah, if you think it'll help the, the fund, then fuck it. Well, it's one, it's one of those things that... 
uh not to help out i just want to hang out with you i'm just i just like see oh. if i can get somebody to i was like hey we'll come out there and, oh, dude i had uh i try to have a couple of uh comic cons get a hold of y'all so you so we can meet up with a fucking god <laughs> dude i know right oh man that's how that devious i am it's like oh you really like black prophet well, yeah 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 chris heads up okay cool it's, uh, yeah anyways <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, that's right. He does work for Black Rifle. <laughs> does he? Really? It was, I, I, I love Johnny to death. He's like, oh man, maybe we're gonna spawn. I was like, no, no, don't talk about him about that stuff. I just want to <laughs> hang out with him. He's a cool guy. I want to, I want to, I want to dock with him. I mean, uh, yeah, no, I just want to dock with him. <laughs> yep. His he's like Santa Claus, but younger. Oh, dude, I can't wait till that Santa Claus movie comes out. Did I tell you I actually played Santa Claus Did in you? a Black Rifle video? It that wasn't that get, first one, was it? It didn't get aired. Oh, it didn't. It didn't actually make it on there. But uh, they actually had me uh, last year. They actually had me let's send you a picture. Uh, okay. They they damn sure they had me uh, dress up as Santa and and do throwing presents out of a helicopter. It was. It was the, oh, it was that fun. would piss me the fuck off. I was like, hand me the video. I'll post that motherfucking shit. I'm, I'm still trying. I'm, I'm trying to get the video itself. It's, it, it still exists. The guy still has it, but you know, I, I don't have iPhone, so he can't airdrop it to me. I got an iPhone. I'll come down there and get it. <laughs> come on with it. Or I'll, I'll yeah, yeah. I'll find some. Yeah, I had I had a blast making that video, and it still bothers me that uh, it it uh, I don't know it just didn't get approved. I, I never really found out what fully happened on that, but eh, you know it is. It's probably it it's probably it's one of those things. Is like how uh, uh, Hollywood does their shit and everything like that. Someone goes up and says they didn't like something about the video or the movie or the. TV show and it doesn't go anywhere after that. Yeah, it it's so weird. Uh, I ended up talking uh, to uh, what, what's his name, uh, Kilpatrick, because I was I was like, is this how Hollywood actually does? If if one person doesn't like the TV show that you're about to produce and everything, or you're going in, it just doesn't get. Because like, dude, I had one movie; it was set to go. Uh, we had all the funding. We made. We basically made it. As soon as we gave it to the uh, to, uh, the producer for them to watch and see if they want to distribute. No, it was a distributor, and see if the distributor wants to go out and distribute it and everything. The wife watched it with the husband, and she didn't like it. And that's the reason why it didn't. Not even connected to the company. No, not at all. It was just, it was just the wife didn't like it. Wow. And uh, he, I was like, man, if I had, if I had somebody to distribute stuff and everything like that, I would put it out. Cause I like weird shit. I was like, I was talking to uh, Mitch, uh, the comic that was from LA. And yeah. That TV. I showed him, uh, we were watching trailers for uh, Avengers Grimm. Yeah, it's it's because uh, the dude that played uh, Rico from uh, Starship Troopers was the villain in it. And we, yeah, got, we went, it. yeah, we went, we went down a rabbit hole like we usually do when we're doing our uh, what the hell episodes. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, no, dude, there's there's a movie that what 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 they do is this is the the staple in Hollywood, like uh, what got it all. all let me put it all in perspective. What got us in uh, all this stuff was we we're talking about Polly Shore. Polly Shore just did a Pinocchio cartoon, Pinocchio from Disney. The live action is coming out. Right, right. I'm talking about that. I was like, yeah. Uh, what happens is it, it gets leaked out or someone makes a video of this movie and or it gets leaked out of what they're producing and everything. And since some of the uh, stuff isn't uh, – 
uh, IP'd, I guess it would be copyrighted, whatever you want to say. Right. Open territory. Like Pinocchio, Santa Claus, uh, Christmas stuff, uh, things of that. Like there's there's about to be a uh, uh, Grinch movie that's coming out pretty soon, but it's a horror film. Oh, Oh, a horror Grinch film? Yes. Oh, fuck it. Sign me up for that. Hell yeah. Yeah. But it, it's... Okay. It's where you get... Because a lot of... The, there is a lot of, like, straight-to-video uh, cartoon movie. I mean, there's always those. You're right. To where it's a different name, but it has the same characters. Different story yeah. and everything. It's always the case. And you can't really sue them or anything like that because... Because of the fact of it's a different story, uh, it's not copyright. The the storyline is not copyright. Like if you wanted yeah. to use token or anything like that, like you could almost call it a parody. Yes, it, but it's not a parody. It's not. Well, I said you could almost. I guess, say just, I, get, I guess it might be like a parody. Yeah. But it ended up. I was like, there's there's in, a in legal terms, not in entertainment terms. Yeah. Like I told him, I was like, "There's an Avengers movie that it's just uh, grim fairy tales." And he's like, "Bullshit!" So we <laughs> looked it up. And he's like, "Oh my god, that actually looks halfway watchable." I love movies like that. I, I love movies like that too. And uh, me and Mitch were talking about it, and we just went down a fucking. Ra- I mean, if you watch the episode, we didn't go that deep like we like I usually do. Yeah. But we went down deep in this rabbit hole. It's like uh, there's uh, War of the Worlds two. It's it, it, what? what we do. Okay, what we used to do. What we used to do. Uh, you sequel to that. When we when we had like uh, there's another movie that I'll send you the video of. It's still Please. on YouTube. Please. And you will you would think. I just sent you the most horrible stuff, and you might be fired because it's on your phone. <laughs> because of the name. Because of the name. Okay? I can't, I can't even say the name say, on any kind of social media. Even if you say, say, you say social media, I can't say the fucking name. <laughs> and it's, it's a 30-minute movie. Yeah. And the people that did it were African-American. Oh man. And it's black and white. It is oh, God. It is trash. I do not. I'm and I'm not saying trash because of the name and everything else, but it someone sent me it. Someone sent me it because I like weird movies and everything that come yeah, out yeah. nobody knows about. I was like, I know about this movie. It's really weird. It has this. <laughs> someone sent me that because they were like going through like uh YouTube black hole, so to speak. Yeah. And they sent me that. I was like, what the, what the hell? I looked at it. The name on it itself just says, do not open because it's weird. <laughs> see, that's like, that's a siren call, man. If I see those, like, you have to click yes. on it. There's no way you can't. It's like a wolf cop. Have you seen that one? Wolf it sounds familiar. Yeah. I don't think I've watched it, but that dude or Axe Cop. I mean, there's there's several of those. This is like Axe Cop's a good one too. There was one that, uh, and I'm I'm trying to think of the name of it. Kim Coates actually did it, and he was uh... man, I can't remember the name of it now. But he he it was some stupid cheesy. I think it was mid nineties movie or something like that. And uh man, I, it was it was it like a trauma movie? Rift tracks or something like that. Like they uh Rift Tracks or or uh or uh Mystery Science Theater two thousand did a uh a, a deal with it. They did a video with it. Oh, okay. Man. There was one where he was like he it was like a he was a cop that was brought back to life or, or something like that. It was, an, I won't say like a RoboCop, but he was basically like like that. Oh, but okay. he just goes nuts and just starts fucking killing everybody. I still I still like, uh, was it 
Jim uh, Coates. I can't remember the name of the damn movie. I'll see if I can find that. Velosa, Velosa Pastor. Velosa Pastor. God, yes, Velosa Pastor was that, awful. That it was odd. so bad. Did they even? So they the the guy that that actually played the 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 pastor. They did an interview with him. Uh, some years later after the movie came out. And it was, you know, the one scene where it was uh, the car, the, his parents blew up in the car and uh, and it just says VFX car burning and it's just a blank <laughs> it's a blank street and the car is supposed to be burning and it literally just has the placeholder the VFX car burning and it slipped through. It wasn't supposed to, there was supposed to be VFX and it slipped through, and the editor was just like, oh, fuck it, it's too late now. So they just have to do it funnier. Like, so he has just a blank street. He has a blank street that he's reacting to. His parents in the car burning, and he's all screaming, and then it's just... <laughs> no, no, uh, did you ever, did you ever download the, uh, 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 X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, before he actually came out in the theaters? No. Dude. Okay. This is what Did you happened. say, like, the bootleg? It wasn't a bootleg. No? It was post. Someone had found it, and before the visual effects put, were put in, oh, I'm, talking, I'm talking, like, three or four months before the movie even came out. <laughs> Oh no! Talk about, talk about watching a movie that is B rated, dude. It was only because, only because, only because the such fact a horrible movie too to begin yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was kind of horrible beforehand, but it it was it was even worse. It, it wasn't even that bad without the visual effects <laughs> because of the basic fact of. It, I, I enjoyed it because it was B-rated for me. It yeah. was, I mean, you'd have like the the airplane that the CGI wasn't even. It it was like someone having it on a screen on the green screen, and you could actually see the fucking hands. <laughs> yes. Or you see him, you see him like put up his fists, and, and you just see the claws gently come out. <laughs> And, and, and they're like blocky, yeah. Like someone used like sixteen bit like, or three, uh, like three two bit or something. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like eight claws coming out. <laughs> yes, it was. It was. I watched it, and then God, and I think really, that would be even more entertaining than the actual movie. It was. It was a hundred percent entertaining, because Fox had some kind of leak. Well, that was the leak. Yeah, and it came over. This is this is the time frame where you could get like anything on the internet. Yeah, it was it was the wild. Well, you still can. You have to go to a different part of the internet. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I heard it's you don't want to do that. I, I I did that once and it didn't pan out for me. Nope. Oh, there's yeah. some, there's some parts of the internet you should just be new. Yeah, but you see the movie Rubber? No, no. Dude, send me you, send the link. Oh God, you have to you have to watch that. So it's about a how do I describe? It? It's about a serial killer tire that explodes people's heads telepathically. Oh, I did see that. The 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 tire that just goes off. Yeah, and, and the whole other subtext of the people that are actually like sitting and watching the quote unquote movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it's 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 awful. It is horrible, but it has to be experienced. That's what you gotta watch. No okay. reason. That's you, old you know, okay, movie. okay. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to send you what I was talking about. Just to give you a point of reference. What I was talking about. Oh. You cannot, you cannot do the title. You can't say the title. 
You can okay. react, but you can't. You can't say okay. it. Said it to me. This is what someone sent me one time, and I just gave you the full movie. By the way, it's only thirty minutes. Just look at the title. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm telling you, someone sent me that because because it's like, dude, this isn't this isn't bad. Just watch it. I tried to watch it. It was halfway decently interesting. Thank God it was only thirty minutes. <laughs> That's 30 minutes. I'll never get back in my life type still. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to, to burn your phone. I'm gonna yeah, have to I down a fucking bottle of mead, I think. And then... <laughs> <laughs> the only way I think I'm going to get through this. What are we, it's one of those things. It's like, dude, you got to watch this film. It's the greatest film. And it's, and it's totally, 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 totally good. Oh, speaking of that. Did you ever see uh, Iron Sky? Yeah. Did you see the sequel? I did. Dude, that the sequel that... was the sequel was good, but man, it is it doesn't beat the first one, man. I just outer space Nazis coming down and flying saucers. Like, come on, yeah. man. That that's you're not gonna beat that. That I wanted I wanted to do a skit for uh Man, I got I got like hundreds of ideas. I just don't put them down. It's, it's that's my. Oh, that's the best. I, need, I need I need to st- I need to start working on this shit. Uh, a lot of people have uh, told me that because I'll describe all this stuff and everything. It's like, dude, write that down. Mm-hmm. Write that down. Start it up. It's like, uh, what it is? I got this uh, this comedian in town, Israel Goldman. He's a uh indian jewish go, uh comedian he he only has like uh one arm the other arm is like a thing uh, two fingers put together it, he's 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 handicapped he doesn't have his legs yeah. uh, but great guy great comedian uh i was got but he, he's retired so he can do a lot of drugs he does a lot of uh 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 he'll tell you himself he got pissed one time because he brought uh, bought these drugs from uh, uh, he brought LSD and they were shit. He was like, "Man, these, this LSD." He was so fucking pissed <laughs> off. And he wasn't wearing his legs; he was wearing his cap legs. He was just walking around, so he looks like a midget. He's tall as hell when he's he's tall as hell when he's wearing his legs, but he, when he has only his uh his stub legs, little yeah. rubber pad legs, you could go buy the couch. It looks like a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, <laughs> I was gonna have him. I was gonna have him go out. I was like, "Hey guys, I've been reading this book, and something happened." And I would like visually see the book, and it'd be the Necronomicon, S. Mortis, the Book of the Dead. I have to describe the whole thing because I love that show. Or I love yeah. the show. I love the movie. And uh, I was like, "Oh my god, do you? Are you serious? You 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 were." Reading from that book. Yeah. And I pull out the Black Rifle Coffee uh, axe because it's the only axe I have. I would yeah. probably, or, or, or I pro- uh, bring out the, uh, what is it, the AC-82, uh, uh, 79 Law Rocket, getting everything ready. And he's like, no, 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 it's not. It's not the undead. It's Nazis. And I just, yeah, just the... The, the camera would pan around to me turning my head and you just see me like go down onto the ground and everything and he's like Dave Dave are you alright we, we know it's Nazis and everything I'm just like this is my happy day in my life I get to kill my <laughs> grandpa and I get to kill some Nazis this is good. oh my I've been dreaming about this for most of my life I'm scared <laughs> right now oh my god oh let's do this <laughs> I, I I need to do that. Fantastic. Are you all right? I'm I'm oak right now. <laughs> it, Mahogany. Okay. Yes. I, I already watched that one too. 
<laughs> I'm glad you got that. You could know I could lift a Volvo with this damn thing. <laughs> oh man. I mean, you just see me going out and kill Nazis. But yeah. But, <laughs> I mean that's 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 yeah, that's the uh honeymoon scenario right there. I know, right? God. I would I would I would Do Nazi zombies? That's you know, that'd be even better. That's a trifecta, yeah. The only way you could improve killing Nazis is to make them Nazi zombies. It's the only way. Dude, well, you know, you know, know, no, 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 no. Here, here, hear me out. Hear me out. You keep on uh, shooting them in the chest, and they go down. And he's like, and someone's like, "Dude, you got to hit them in the head." I was like, "No, you don't." No, no, what no. What no. are you doing? See, that's you, that's, you kill a live you want, Nazi, and then have the I'll come back. all my ammo to kill a Nazi zombie. Yeah, <laughs> like that, like that. Uh, uh what, 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 what is it? The, the, that, uh, TikTok video that's been circulating around and they keep on copying it. It's like, uh, what happened? What would happen to you if you, if the zombie happen, uh, happened, uh, happened to you? It's like, I don't know. I would have to contain the giggling as I'm killing these motherfuckers. <laughs> no. Instant hard on there. there I, will I, I would. I, it would be. It would be. I would have a hard on. I would skip around. I Maybe. might not wear pants. Huh? I might not even wear pants. I. I don't know. Fuck it. I'm gonna go all out. Go all out. Might I might banana banana if, underwear. Maybe some ranger pants. I, I I could see you know wearing some silkies. You know. You know what I found out. And I got. I'll hold on. Chris is going to talk about me while I go get these damn things. I'm. I'm going to talk about me. Okay, me. I don't know. We, we basically exhausted my knowledge of me. <laughs> I do have a batch of cherry and peach going that I'm probably going to be bottling uh, tomorrow. Actually, oh my god, that is amazing. Oh man. <laughs> Mandalorian Silkies. Mandalorian Where did you find those? Days. Where did you find those? On the internet. Where you found most really weird shit. That is crazy. I think I think uh what was it? Uh Grunt style has like one, it's just like uh, the the dragon. But they were they were sold out and I found those. And someone was like, if you do this ruck, you're going to have to wear ranger panties. I'm like, not really, really going to do ranger panties. I mean, I got the legs for them, but I'm not going to wear ranger panties. And I was like, fuck, it's for charity. Just fucking do it. So I looked up and I was like, is that ranger panties? But is she in the ranger panties? Bad, bad. I, bubble fat. <laughs> So I, I, I grabbed some Boba Fett Ranger panties and I went out there. Like, these are me. Now, now I'm, like, I'm, I'm always wearing them every once in a while. <laughs> it was like that. Uh, you saw that uh Hawaiian shirt that I had the when, when when we first started filming. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Boba Fett. It has like, dude. It has shorts, matching shorts too. Are they the the Tom Selleck '80s nut huggers? No, 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 no. They're they're regular that shorts. Was, that that was, would that would you, 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 you couldn't have the photo with it. You couldn't do the photo with it because it, it, it it's. I mean, it has the front and the back with, with the actual shirt has. It has Boba Fett in the front. And the uh, slave woman, and I'll call it slave one to my fucking dying day. Yes. Yes, Boba Fett's yes. ship. It's the Slave One, and yes. if you look at the backstory on the reason why it's called Slave One, it makes fucking sense. Exactly. Fucking but you notice that they haven't gone back and changed Anakin's backstory at all. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! So come on, man. Like, yeah. if you're gonna do it, be fucking consistent about it. Yeah. That just because now you're just pandering. Yeah. Which we were actually talking about that me and BC were talking about this is uh, people that people that, you know, uh, like 
the difference between diff, uh, a person that you get you get somebody else into something. Mm. Like if I got you got you into Magic the Gathering, okay. I get you into this game. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it and everything like that. I, but you take it to we're 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 at a five. I'm at a five, and you take it to eleven. Like you go into the, like the lore, and you start finding discrepancies, and you're like, dude, I just showed you something that I like. You're ruining what I like. I am. It, we were talking about that, and there's some people out there that just can't. I mean, I understand some people with the canon and everything, what what they don't like. You know, sometimes I don't agree. Sometimes I just like shut the fuck up. Well, listen, that's it's. Listen, when you're talking about lore, it's history. Yeah, history can be problematic. Same thing happens with lore. You don't have to like or agree with every single aspect or facet of whatever your fandom is there's going to be things that will probably piss you off to be honest with you are you hearing a whistling sound right now uh my ac is running no no on my end but no i don't hear anything well my fans like kicked up to like high gear and started whistling so i was just making sure Uh, no i don't but yeah i understand that but you can like i said that's that's you're talking about history there and there's going to be things that you don't have to – you don't have to like everything about your fan. It's okay. going to – I'll, I'll grant, it, grant it that because the, the new show, The Winchesters, goes totally against the canon that actually was actually uh, made on Supernatural. Because his father never knew anything about monsters until his wife died from a demon. Right. His, yeah. Mary was and – now, And now they're going on adventures. <laughs> That, that's the reason why I can't. I mean, I hope that show just does not work. Yeah, I, I haven't seen any of it. I, I probably wouldn't, just because. I stopped watching CW altogether. I stopped. I've stopped watching CW altogether. Yeah, because the, the only thing worth watching on there was was freaking Supernatural. Yeah, after after a while, I mean that and the uh, DC crossover stuff. It was the only thing I watched. Yeah. Arrow and yeah. Arrow was too bad. Flash was okay. It was bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not that as into DC as I am Marvel though. I'm I'm into the uh Else World. I will say the DC animation now is amazing. Yes. The yeah. DC animated have anime. Seen, dude, have you seen the have you seen the uh uh the new Green Lantern? Beware my no, power with John Stewart. Dude, I gotta get you, I gotta get you, I gotta turn it back on. I'll send you all the details and everything so you can get a uh, DC Nation. Oh, very good. Not DC Nation, just the HBO Max. No, oh, I have the HBO Max. Okay. That's yeah, it, it should be up on there. Okay. Or 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 Justice Society World War II. That was a good one. Ooh. Yes, there's, dude. Just look up the DC cartoon movies that that. I mean, I whenever it comes out, I I keep up. That's one thing I actually keep up with because the the animation, it it, it could be like crap, but the stories are fucking phenomenal. Right. Yeah, I mean, well, I, so even the even the old school uh, Marvel X Men. Uh, yeah, cartoon. They're coming. I I can't wait. I can't wait till the. Uh, X Men ninety seven, mm-hmm. uh, on uh, uh, Disney Plus. Hopefully they don't fuck that up. I hope not. I don't know. I, I I am worried though, especially because of the shit that's been happening with like She Hulk. The last one wasn't all that bad. I still. I yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I barely I barely watched the full episodes. Yeah, because it just starts talking about the how horrible females have it, and then I'm like, it's too much. And there's 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 ways that they could have written it that you could have. It's too in your face. Let me put it that way. It's it's too in your face with it, and it's too much. Like you're you may as well just have a flashing red sign on the screen saying we're trying to to mess like like Keenan and. 
it pops up the window message. Yeah. Like, and it's just, it's that, it's just that the whole freaking episode. Yeah. It's like, we're, we're trying, we, we have an agenda. We're pushing. Well, hell, there, I, I was, there's I ways watched, to do it. I rewatched with, Blank Man. Uh huh. Okay. In consideration, you can take it as, uh, it, it, I guess you would call it kind of a world culture movie, but Blank Man. With Keenan and yeah. uh, I, I rewatched that. I, I love that. I love Peter Man. I love uh, I love that those types of movies and everything. But it gives you a, a like window of what's happening in the urban a- areas like that. Yeah, it, it was in that 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 just pisses me off that they're like, oh, the black community doesn't have really good superhero movies. I was like, have you not seen Blank Man? That was a classic. You're assholes. <laughs> You've not seen Meteor Man. Still, on the other hand, is kind of like a crap. But Meteor Man, Black Man, it was for a classic. That exactly. That wasn't high quality cinema. I was like, dude, it's a superhero movie. It was. It was a great superhero movie. High quality stuff. But look at what the the dribble and the direct that they put out and call it high quality cinema. It's just like Carter said. Appealing. It's all gay cowboys eating pudding. That, that's that's what it comes down to. That's what they consider high quality. Yeah, gay cowboys eating pudding. Yeah, let's go up to the mountains. <laughs> Why can't I quit you? No, I never did see that movie either. I never did. <laughs> I've heard people say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we me and me and my brother-in-law, we were doing, uh, we were taking uh, industrial, no, it was residential wiring, uh, for our uh, degree for industrial maintenance, and we, we were, we were, we were trying to get Valentine's Day off. One of the chicks that was working, uh, that was at the class with us, trying to get Valentine's off, and. Uh, after we we got Valentine's Day off, what I ended up saying is like, "Hey, hey, Kenny, man, we we got that day off. We got Valentine's Day off. We can go up to your place, man. We can watch us in Boat Back Mountain and just cuddle." <laughs> the red on this big guy's <laughs> face was hilarious to me. I mean, it was it was this red. It was this oh, red. It was hilarious. So I said, did this guy never serve? No, he was in, he was a CB dude. Oh, what the fuck? Come <laughs> on, man. You're telling me you never cuddled in the field. Come on. I showered with a couple of guys and then got hey, my back. Dude, it's not gay if it's in the field. Yeah. So, exactly. But yeah, it, it was just it was just one of those hilarious moments that it was <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch I'll every once in a while I'll catch him off guard. I catch a lot of people off guard sometimes. I'll just say something just nonchalantly, like we're actually going to do it, or actually, uh, I'm at, like, Wait, so we're not going to cuddle on the couch, Norch. Oh fuck! What did that? Lie to me, uh, dude, baby. It's it's okay. I'll make you a cake and everything, and we'll still do it. Cake? Fuck yeah! I get cake too. Fuck yeah! I'm I'm, I'm a cook. I gotta make sure that I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a little spoon on. Okay. No okay. problem. Uh. <laughs> no, it's like uh every once in a while I go through a drive thru, I'll do something stupid. Like uh I went through a drive thru one time and I had them uh tell me the entire menu because I was blind. Oh fuck yes. They did it. I it, not even thinking that you were driving. No, not even thinking that. Wow. People, people react. And I had, I had That's a scenario. Crazy. I had a scenario to uh, uh, make sure that this still happened. Because if they said it was like, "Well, how are you driving, sir?" Uh, I'm not driving. I'm blind. My driver is deaf and dumb, and they're trying to sign me the fucking menu on my hand, and it's taking us some time. Unless you want us to be here. For like a good, uh, because she can see, she can see the menu. She's telling, she already knows what she wants. 
<laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I want. I don't know the entire menu. So she's signing me the menu. Can you please tell us what the menu is so I know what I want to fucking order, ma'am? And that that was the second scenario, if it, that would happen. I come up with some weird shit that is freaking classic, and I don't videotape it. I could probably make a crap load of money. <laughs> like this one time, like this one time, uh, I was laid off uh, from AT and T, uh, and what had happened was, is I would get the food, I would make sure we were fed, but my uh, my best friend, my dog, he would take care uh, of the rent, and if we were spending the same amount of money. Anyways, I was like, hey, let's go let's go to Burger King. It's like, okay. He gets very high anxiety. He's finally gotten to therapy and gotten gotten medicated so he can fix that. I mean, he can't sometimes he can't talk to people. Yeah. He gets he gets scared and shakes. It was really bad. So sometimes I had to order the food because he his anxiety was like skyrocketed. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I can't be an asshole about it. So this one time we were we 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 get we get to the the drive through. I was like, okay, I'm, am I ordering this time? Because you just say, yeah, 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 go ahead and order. I was like, okay, uh, let's see here. I want to I want a double whopper with cheese, extra mayo. I mean, I mean, I want the mayo to come on my face if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, you know, I. I just love that double meat. And uh, maybe, maybe I, I, I just take a soda, nothing diet, just give me a Dr. Pepper. And uh, let's see here. Oh, Michael, Michael, what do you want? What, 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 go ahead. What do you, did you want just a plain whopper, vegetables and everything? Get you that. He just wants the plain whopper. You know, he's playing. <laughs> a little bit of good stuff in the room, if you know what I mean. Dude, as soon as I got done with the order, he's like, not today. Satan just drives the fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on, man. You got you to gotta pull up to the window and play along with that. You can't let that one go. Dude, I've, I've had it to where... Uh, I'll do the menu and everything, and I do it in one of my voices, and uh, I get to the window, and they legitimately are like, <laughs> and I would go, uh, "Hello." Uh, I was like, if I do it like in a voice, did that, you change like, it differently? <laughs> do you change it back? Yeah, I change it when we're at the window. It's like, "Hello, hello, ma'am, sir. How, how are you doing? Are you are you doing well today? Thank you. Uh, yes." Here's my card. Thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. And they were just like, was there anybody else in the drive-thru? Like, <laughs> someone, someone. someone no, like, no, just me on the car. Where's, I mean, I had it, I had it at one point, point in time that I was a really good, uh, had a really good female voice. And that, that was another thing. I, I had a really good female voice, and they were, like, looking around, trying to figure out where the woman was. Of course, I'm also, of course, I'm also the ass like, She's in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> I had passed you the, I, I let her out the water. <laughs> of course, I'm also the asshole that goes through a freaking bank, um, bank teller and uh, ac- accidentally has porn going on on my speakers. <laughs> Like the real loud raunchy ones too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you can't hear the screams, it's not fun. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> well, it, it's like this one. I was just coming off of tech school. Well, I wasn't off of tech school. It was Christmas break for tech school. My mom picked picked me up, drove me back uh, back home from San Antonio. And we went to Crackle Barrel up in uh, Decatur, I think it was. And uh, anybody that knows, going going to the it, the Cracker Barrel is at the corner. You had to pass to get to Wichita, no yeah. matter w- which way you go. So we went there, and uh, I just ordered a burger. I hadn't had a really good, you know, burger burger in a while. Well, 
uh, did my order. She came back, handed me my food. I was like, ma'am, uh, um, I'm sorry to complain, but I do believe I ordered the slaughtered cow. Uh, this isn't a slaughtered cow. Without skipping a beat, and, and and I love this woman, what she did. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. She grabs the plate, walks about by probably about two, three feet, realized what had happened turns around slams it in front of my face that there's your food sir walks <laughs> off. She, i gave her a 10 for a tip yeah. Oh, yeah. and she threw the rest of the meal my mom was trying to figure out why she was like why is she being so rude to you david and finally i told her what happened she's like you better give her a good tip <laughs> or I'm going to smack you. Of course, of course the Look, same. At least she caught it and like immediately yeah. came out. Yeah. She didn't play it off. That's, yeah. that's bad. She, 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 I, I, if I had to talk to her manager, I would have talked to her manager and told her what I did. But it's the same instance, the same time frame. Me, my mom, my mom was a, uh, 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 she made quilts. She she was a very a seamstress. She was a great seamstress. She, if you needed a a, a dress for your daughter or anything like that, she's the woman to go to. She would yeah. make a hand dress for your daughter that looked like it just came from one of those super stores. Yeah. So we're in this cloth store, and I act like a retard more than usual, and I'm like, I got to the, I got these. Uh, there was this uh, cloth that had like clouds, and I was like, "Mommy, look! I'm touching clouds." Mommy, and touching clouds. My mom had a fucking end of it. <laughs> Smacks the shit out of me in front of everybody. Yeah. And this old sweet old lady comes up. It's like, "Ma'am, he's special. You shouldn't hit him." Like that. <laughs> I died. I died after that. I I legitimately died. I started laughing my ass off. You remember those old commercials with the fish and people just backing away with their mouths open going. <laughs> this is what that woman's face was. I still to this day, I think someone that was in the ad agency saw what would happen, what had happened with that old lady and she was backing off and everything. And that's how he made his money. That's how that's that legitimately that's what I, I i think but yeah do you have any that was, stories like when, that done? so when we we're in in uh in colorado springs we had we had the we're in a duty station and my wife at the time uh had a good friend in her unit and we were all hanging out and her oldest son and i started this was right after uh something about mary came out okay and uh <laughs> And so we were doing that whole, have you seen my baseball? Have you seen my baseball? I can't have my baseball. Dude, hours. We were at this fucking Chinese place or whatever. It was it was a buffet place. I can't remember exactly which one. But anyways, we sat there for three hours. Like, they legitimately kicked us out because we were there for, for too long. <laughs> like, we were there long enough to get hungry again and start eating again. And just the whole time, me and him were just going back and forth. Just the whole time and that is fucking hilarious everybody was pissed off at us but we we just couldn't stop it was a have you seen my baseball yeah it was it was good dude i love doing stuff like that it's so it just man if if more people would do like crazy stuff like that the world would be a little bit better place exactly learn the last then you got then you got these sticklers Hell, I I love what your boss does to people half, half the time. He he'll he'll man the stories he comes up with of what he's done. I I'm I'm I'm, I'm terrified of meeting your boss, your your head head boss, Haver, only because I would go with his stupid ideas, and we would we would end up in the desert. I was like, man, maybe we should took that. Maybe we should maybe we took that a little bit too far. You yeah. think? Yeah. I think. By the way, let's go grab some leaves since that's the only fucking thing around and cover our junk. Are you really that scared? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a fucking snake coming at me, dude. I, for someone so small, I'm surprised. 
Yeah, he's he's a trip. He's something else. One one the puppet. I love that puppet. And I wish they would do like episodes of those of the we M&M. we ask for it all the time. Even within the company, we ask for a puppet Evan all the time. Yes. Him just doing that in meetings. We want, we want big for, corporations. I would laugh. I would I would I'd 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 play with. I would I would watch constantly. Not even puppet Evan. Like we want all the key players to have their own puppets. Eh, some of them are not that funny. I mean, best is all right. JT, I could see it, but Hayford, no, he, he's. Oh no, it would be Evan's voice for all. Oh okay. Oh oh okay. Hell yeah. I'm with <laughs> you on that one now. No no no, no no no. You misunderstand. <laughs> yeah, I did not see <laughs> the light that you are making, yeah, sir. Evan, Evan would be doing all of the voices, and they now, would. Just now I'm with them. you. Now, now, now! Oh yeah, that was another thing. We need to get that. Ar- I want to. I want to try to get that artist for the uh, bags, if you can. You said you were oh, able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Hunt. I forgot about that. I yeah, need to reach out to him. Yeah. Yeah, just reach out because I love his artwork, dude. Like I, yeah. I have a stack of bags over here that I'm trying to figure out because I got. I, I need to get a poster board so I can just uh plast them on there because it it's just wonderful artwork there's and so a ton fun. of people that do that yeah that, that murals on their walls or or will do uh like coffee tables or stuff like that i've seen that as well they'll, they'll send us some pictures of, of just like mosaics and shit that they've done with with the bags that man that is just it it really is and it, it's not just uh uh boasting uh of your company or, or the company that you work for, it's boasting of the artist. It's the very yeah. few times that you you get. I mean, I'm I'm guessing he takes his. He, I mean, these bags. The art. I know the artwork for the bags and everything probably take about two to three months, because that one was uh, the coffee I'm drinking right now. It can't. Uh, I found out about this like four to five months ago when. Yeah. Uh, Hafer was talking about it and then and finally i was like oh this is the this is the stuff he was talking like i was wa- wa- re-watching something like i was like what is he talking about oh and yeah god they have those yeah they have those well i mean for lack of a better term like storyboarded out they have those now fucking even longer than that like yeah it, it's they're... like 10 like two to three years yeah yeah like I, i've i've because I've been in the the art department over there, and I mean, they just have shit all over the walls. It's 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 crazy. It's a little, uh, it's a madhouse in there. A bunch of mad geniuses. All the everybody that they have working there is great. Yeah, it's like what, what's that pow white powder? Is that it's talking powder? <laughs> talking, I'm gonna get the fuck out. It's okay. it's okay. It's it's sugar for the coffee. Come on now. That's how rumors get started, dude. Hey. It's, it's it's powder. I'm not saying there's not truth to it. I'm just saying that's how rumors get started. started. You need to shut the fuck up, <laughs> Dave. Dave. All right, Chris. Podcast, Gary. And I don't want to get fired from my job. Shut the fuck up. I can neither confirm nor deny I any know. happening that happens within that room. <laughs> yeah, it's like is that, is that we, come legally uh, certain <laughs> certain spots. Of the company, you are not allowed to have a camera on you. I I, I can neither confirm nor deny whether or not they have uh, Nerf rifles stashed at strategic places all over that room, and we'll just spontaneously and randomly start shooting each other. I oh, hope it's like real Nerf guns. I doubt. I I'm, I'm seeing places that do no, that. No, they got like fucking. I'm talking sniper rifles. Like I'm not talking the little bitties. They they go all out. No, I bet. No, oh, it's, it's I've bad. seen I've I've seen companies. It's not a large <laughs> office, so you can't get crazy with it though. Like their their office, they have like a so it's really cool because they have like a you walk in and they have a big open area there, and then they have like the you go to the offices, there's a common area, and then they have like little satellite offices around the side. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, so I, they I, all kind of yeah, they just keep the doors open and then you just shoot into the room. It's, yeah, yeah, it's I bad. pictured, I pictured it uh, uh, of uh, from the videos and everything like that. So. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's it's like a regular office, but with 
children running it. Yeah, grown children. You're not wrong. Yeah, uh-huh. children with, with beards and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, Chris, you and you and Chris get along very well. I, he's he's just as much of a Star Wars. Fan oh, as oh, 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 God. Uh, BC BC sent me this uh, photo. Uh, the guy that I was uh, talking to yesterday. Yeah. Uh-huh. Check this out. And look at the, uh, looking at the photo, look at the left knee. I, you have to zoom into it. I had to zoom into it. Look at the left knee. And this is how I get people to talk on my show and what they end up showing me. Left knee. It's silver. It's Todd McFarlane's signature on the Todd McFarlane comic book. That I'm not seeing. Really? Yeah. Did you even... Oh, it's on, it's on his right knee. Well, look, looking at looking at the photo and everything, it, yeah, it's on his right knee, but it's on oh, the left side. It's on the wrong side. <laughs> No, it's on your left. Dude, I'm dyslexic. I had to check my hand. You said his right. If you look no, at your left, right. you're looking at it. You said his left, not my left. You know what? Go play yourself. <laughs> I don't even like you anymore. No cake, no cuddles. You bastard. Bitch. <laughs> Take away my fucking cuddles. <laughs> oh, man. We really... We re- <laughs> we had too much fun on these things. That's the reason why. This is the reason why I like I like talking with you and everything is because the base effect. We have a lot of common, and I mean, last. last I, I'm so glad we we actually caught up and everything. It's one of those mm-hmm. things. That really, uh, one I value time. I mean, you could you could have just said this guy is crazy. It, I, I pictured. I, I literally pictured it as like, man, this guy probably thinks I'm some kind of stalker or something like that. I just want to. I just want to be friends. <laughs> and and we 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 got together. It it was it was uh bad time in your personal life. I'm so glad that I I I you know I brought you up and we're actually friends now. We'll we'll do yeah talk yeah uh, right time man. I I yeah really, really that. yeah yeah it, it, it's one of those things you don't know what and that's another thing that I try to talk to uh, when I'm talking to the people's the the the, the points where like. Uh, me and BC were talking about on his sh- uh, on our show because we we split it up because he hadn't been able to make an episode in a while because his co-host is, uh, just had a kid. Uh, he was busy with his actual job job, and uh, we I was like, "Hey, dude, you haven't done an episode in a while." I was like, "Yeah, we've been busy." He was like, "Dude, hit record. We'll do it together." He's like, "Really? I didn't think about." It. I was like, "Dude, I love your show." I want yeah. to prosper, and uh, was, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you 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 like doing this too, and you like coming on yeah. here and and doing it. So I got another person that can actually, you know, want to, you know, not sponsor, but <clears throat> speak out and tell the angry faithful to come to us. Absolutely, I want to make a cult. Not come not saying, uh, yeah, okay, sex cult. Get get a, cult. a weird get, new cult. Absolutely. It's the only kind of cult to make. Yeah. 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 Sex cults are the best. Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah. Uh yeah. but <laughs> then we'll uh we'll we'll start outfitting. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah. But it it, it I, I talked to him about this is how people once they get that stumper, it, how hard it is to get out of that stumper because I I read this article. And I talked about it last episode, which this episode will come like uh, the next next weekend, right? Next week, next Sunday. Sun this Sunday is going to be BC, and the next weekend is going to be you, right? Uh, I talked about this a lot that your train of thought. If you only think about negative thoughts, your brain only sees negative, right? 
And he 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 admitted that he had points sometimes that he had that where all he was thinking is negative. But once you realize that, and once you started, I mean, I, I even even looking at your your posts and everything like that, you were still you were still struggling. And I saw that, and you you still struggled. I was like, man, I gotta I gotta break this man in. I gotta come on, suck all the suck all the power, <laughs> suck all the power. Of the pain. <laughs> and uh. And kiss you to my bosom. Yes, I will <laughs> rest you until you're happy again. <laughs> you will be more powerful than you ever thought. <laughs> but it's 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 that thing that where once you start thinking positive thoughts, positive things start happening to you. Because yeah. if you actually think of negative thoughts, and the only thing the negative that you can think of, negative things are going to happen. It's right. it's it's like a uh self it's a prophecy thing, but it's a self self reliant prophecy or something. I don't know. I'm butchering this. Self fulfilled. Yeah, self fulfilled prophecy. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing my uh, my therapist has been working with me on is is trying to just to just basically said the same thing. Like you have to retrain your brain mm-hmm. to to start looking at, at positive. And that's that's one the the exercise that she gave me. Is I have to every, every day I have to come up with three three positive things that are are happening or I just I, I three positive thoughts in, in in my life and it could be something simple like you know you lost, I, you lost enough weight so you can look down and see your penis yeah that's that's a big one <laughs> I have to lose a lot of weight to be able to get to that point too but still <laughs> yeah, what, what's really sad but it's just not, it's not, even not. simple things yeah. You know, like, like I still, hey, I got, I got, oh, man, woke up I, this morning. you woke up this morning. You, you didn't wake up with a headache. You didn't wake up yeah. like, super sore. Yeah. Or, I've, I've had it. I've had it to where I've gone to like, uh, to go pick up something eat. And it's weird. And I started doing this every once in a while when I have enough cash is I'll pay for the person right behind me. Mm-hmm. You know how much, how, how much like greatness you've just done. I mean, yeah. I've had people do it to me, and it just surprises me. I was like, "Oh, that's that's great. That's wonderful." Yeah, it's a little bit better now. Yeah, if you can just—I mean, so you just put that little bit of light out in the world, and, and it comes back at you tenfold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it really does, and a lot of people don't understand that because they've just had horrible, uh, horrible yeah. things happen to them at that moment. Well, when you get caught up in that, though, it's it's not necessarily that you don't understand it; it's that you don't. You can't see it when you're stuck in that that mind frame. Uh, man, all you see is darkness, man. All you see is dark, and yeah. that starts of affecting. And that's you know, you just start thinking that that's that's all there ever is. That's all that's gonna happen. Yeah, like it's 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 tough to break out of. It, it really is. It it really is, and uh. Not not to boast Chris or anything, but it's the stuff I see what he mm-hmm. does. I mean, you do it a lot, when, even with your TikTok. If someone's like, you see a video that someone's going uh, going down a dark path. It's like, dude, talk to me. I'm gonna reach out to you. Let's let's bring. And I, I do it too. It's not that you know I'm boasting you because you're the only one doing it. No, I I, I see that. That's the reason why I I really want to be your friend. Right. It's because you you you're having a bad time. But you're still wanting to. It's like, dude, I'm having a bad time too. Let's just, let's just rank you off that edge. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting a little bit too close. You're looking at that, uh, that ledge a little bit too long. Right. And we need to bring you back a little bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll and, it, and it does. It's it's healing for for me as well. Like to be able to to have that that interaction, healing or attempting trying to heal that that part of of someone else does wonders for for you and your own kind of outlook yeah well it's also to the point of uh that's how aa started Mm -hmm. it was it was two guys that were looking at their lives they were trying to quit uh drinking alcohol because it was ruining their lives they knew they had to quit they did they couldn't do cold turkey they couldn't but uh, they they started a sponsor program. They tur- uh they turn around and did the twelve steps, 
and they helped each other out. And then they found out, it's like, we can't do this alone, but we can do this together. And and a lot of times, I mean, sometimes it just takes, takes that person. He could be an asshole. He could be, you know, just a regular person to put your hand on your shoulder. And it's like, Hey, you're fucking up, but we're going to work with this. Right. See how, how this. And it was, and that, that kind of, it takes being in that experience as well to be able to say and make them see that, yes, you're fucking up, but in a non judgmental way. It's like, listen, this is, this is what you're doing wrong. This is how you can fix it. Yeah. And I know this because this is what I have done. This is what, this is where I've been. And, and that's the, 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 you know, the important part is, yeah, you're fucking up, but listen, I don't care how you got there. I care about bringing you back up. Yeah. It's, it, it and it, it really is just a wonderful thing that you, you see when a, a person doing that, you can actually believe in humanity a little bit, especially with all this, all this drowning of hate and hate mm-hmm. talk. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do a, like, uh, I'm, I'm in talks doing a political podcast, which I know it's going to bring me to dark fold. And I mean, doing the uh, psychos and sociopaths one p- puts me into having dark thoughts and everything. And I have to veer off and do something for other people when I, it's, I mean, you look at humanity's dark spots and uh, what was it? It was, uh, oh God. Uh, it's a crossover, uh, Justice League crossover, where they had uh, the Sinister Six or, or the the Crime Syndicate it is the animated show, uh, animated uh, movie, and Batman was up against Nighthawk. Night and Batman is like, there's a difference between you and me. Is when you lit, veered into the uh, darkness, you believed. Man, I, I was, you know, a lot of people was the talk to me and i keep on referencing comic books and, and uh, comic book movies and mm-hmm. movies or books that i've read sci-fi fantasy and i tell them it's like hey I've, I've got this little bit of advice from this i got this little bit of advice from this it, just because it might you might think of it as childish and everything like that but the things that they a little have, bit of word of wisdom plans they have are are they get pretty deep sometimes, so. mm-hmm. especially when you had, and it's it may be inadvertent, but man, you never know where you're going to get inspiration from. Exactly. It was like, uh, I got, there was one, uh, what is it, All in the Family? What, what was the guy, was the, the old guy that was in the, in the uh, reclining chair? And the wife was like always in the apron. They actually Bunker. made it. Was it all in the family? I I oh, oh, I'm, oh, I don't remember. No, I think it was. All I remember is him. <laughs> yeah, I just. But the name of the actual show, I I don't remember. Yeah, all in the family. That's what it was. I knew I was thinking of it. But it was a sitcom in the 70s, 71 time frame. I mean, it had – God was racist and everything. But there, there was one episode, the actor was mentally challenged, uh, and he had a sign uh, where he worked. It, it was a big deal in the show, but uh, he goes up and he's like, uh, at one point in time, everybody's an idiot, and sometimes the idiot has to teach you how to do something. So no matter mm-hmm. who you are, if something comes along, like a person that just brings you along across the street when you can't see, that person might be like down and out and everything, but they're still helping you out. Exactly. I mean, I I, I hate, I hate the 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 videos that I know, I know they're scripted. That they go out and it's like. I'm I'm doing this for the clout and the cash and everything, but I'm gonna give you money and see what happens to the guy. And and sometimes it's very emotional and it's very good. Yeah. But I know they're doing it for uh 
uh, ads and, and so right. I mean, you, you know, it's planned out. Yeah. In yeah. some instances. And, and there was one where they gave a homeless guy like, I think 200 bucks. And, or he, they got him to where he found $200. And what he ended up doing, he ended up going to the grocery store instead of picking up alcohol with everybody else in the whole freaking world thinks that uh, homeless people do is they just use the money for uh, their fix, whatever the fix is. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs, you know, whatever. whatever. Well, he went out. He grabbed sandwich stuff. He grabbed drinks. And he grabbed, like, condiments. <clears throat> and he took it to the other homeless people, and they had, like, a spread. And they all ate hearty. And then he went back to his little area. He made sure everybody was fed. And the guy goes, like, uh, and, and the homeless guy flipped out. He's like, oh, uh, 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 I, I, I used some of your money, but here. Hand, hand. He was like, you're giving me the change? And the guy thought he, he, was a, he looked like he was about to run. And he goes up and he's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. But I was like, no, I saw what you did. We had cameras on you the entire time. I'm surprised you're giving me a change. Here's a grand. Here you go. Yeah. I mean, it, it just it's just one of those things that you're always seeing all of this negative stuff. My well, The other thing I can't stand, and I, I, my sister did it once, once, and I got onto her. Yeah. That whole, pray for me, something bad's happening. Well, no, it was pray for me, something's bad happening to my daughter. She got a phone call. Fast. Right. I was like, what, what, what's what's happening with Elizabeth? What's going on? It's like, oh no, she has a stomach ache. It's like, no. is it is it is it one of the? Do I need to come down there? Yeah. Do it is is she, what do like, you need? What do you, what you got? It's like, well, no, she just has it. Just like. But you said, you know, it's an emergency on Facebook. It's like, well, David, I just – it was just really a hard time. I was like, I want you to realize something. When it comes to the kids, you know me. You know our family. You know what happens if something really drastic happens to kids. Right. We break fucking reality to make sure that kid is okay. It's like, yeah, yeah. well, I was like, thank before you do shit like that. Don't ever do that again. Yeah, I was uh, I, I was halfway I was halfway uh, going to San Antonio. Oh well, no, uh, Austin visit a friend of mine when he moved when he lived in Austin. I was halfway, and I was about to turn around to Fort Wor- uh, back to Fort Worth. Yeah, and she's like, "I'm so sorry, I didn't." It's like you didn't think. Next thing, exactly. you can you can ask for her. It's like, hey, daughter has a stomach bug, may not be nothing. And then you just real, and most of the time when you when you write stuff up to the letter, you realize how stupid you're being. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all of us have done that, where you start to write out a a, a post or something like that, and then it's like, <laughs> it's nah, never mind. Actually, I mean, if it's something, if it's something to the fact that, all the time. yeah, yeah, unless it's the fact is like, hey guys, uh, kind of get my dick stuck in my zipper. I don't want to go to the hospital. Is anybody out there? I mean, I'm posting on Facebook wherever I see it's stupid. I know, all right. My, my, my dude, right. Zipper. I need some help. Go to the hospital. Oh, okay. Uh, that makes yeah. sense. Get the beans the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got the beans and I got the frank. I've got the beans and the frank. I need uh I need some help there, buddy. I need I need some help, everybody. Exactly. But it, it's it's so str- I mean, nowadays we can do a little bit. It, it's world what I, I i don't think a lot of people understand it's worldwide now yeah and it's 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 so weird that they don't understand that they don't understand some i mean even a lot of the stuff that uh uh i talk about too is the fact of can't believe everything you read on the internet and if you do see like a, a small smidgen of stuff, it's like that one video that you sent me, how uh, the census in 2020 was flipped a little bit. Yeah. What was strange about that? It wasn't. It wasn't California. It wasn't. It wasn't Texas. It wasn't that. It was Rhode Island. Rhode Island was strange to me because mm-hmm. I know it was like Rhode Island and Delaware 
are the two states in the United States, their seats don't really change that much. If it's right. a drastic change, then yeah, you need to go back and you got to look at look at how they judge on the seats and every and, and right. all that good stuff and everything. That was a strange thing. That 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 was an anomaly. Yeah, that was an anomaly to me because one, I know the reference and everything, and I told you that I was like, the strange thing is Rhode Island. It's a small state. Exactly. Connecticut, Connecticut is another. Uh, the, a lot of stuff in the New England area that are really small. It's they've always had almost the same amount since uh, close to the conception of the United States. Right. They've had the same amount of seats in Congress. So them losing like two to three or gaining two to three. That's a that's a red flag. Yeah. And it's only because yeah, that'd be like you know, Montana gave you three seats all of a sudden. Like, no, the population growth in Montana is not that high. Yeah. And, and, it's, not, and it's nothing to the point where it's not. I mean, you might be thinking one thing. What, what were you thinking when you're you're reading that? It was. Basically, it, it, it looked deliberate. And it looked like it was it was tampering. That's how. It was. Yeah, me. I would. I was thinking that a little bit too. I was like, "Well, that could be tampering." Mm. He might be. He might be thinking. I mean, I'm not. I red or blue. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It was yeah. I, I and, don't and, give a shit. Who's tampering? It's wrong. Yeah. And, and in my in my in my thinking, and, and I, I get this a lot. People don't understand why i think like this and they they think that this 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 the th i have to say theory i can't use the c word mm -hmm. but they have this theory that the whole world is against them and when i say the reality of way something might be i was like well it could just be you know now since we have like a lot of states happening like that yeah, I could say right. if it was a one and done, if you hadn't had any other tampering with with any of the other elections or anything like that, then yes, I could say it would be a bureaucratic screw up because we know how the federal government works. Yeah, because everybody's stupid. That's once what getting at, but that's the problem. It's once is an anomaly. Yeah, twice is a pattern. Yeah, and that that's that's the rear that that that's at that that point because my first thinking is just like, God, we have an idiot doing something stupid. Right. That's my first thought. That's always my first thought. Right. And then when you go, it's like, what about over here and here and here? I was like, well, that motherfucker travels a lot. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but exactly. when it comes when it comes to like sixteen to seventeen states, that's yeah. that's questionable. That's not and it, it's it's look and, and to me it's looking like laziness and good or bad. And it still can be tampering. Mm. The, and right or left, no matter where you're where you're stand, standing. And, and a lot of people were like, how, how can you have these views? So it's like, I'll be dead metal. Only because I know that there are people on both sides that are radical. Yes. There's always that radical person. Absolutely. That does something and they're trying it's like if you do this they're gonna win they they it, it's a competitive thing more yeah or less yeah 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 that that's the whole oh we need to keep power we yes. need to stay in power because we're the only ones who are doing it right the I'm cowboys sure are it, it's the same thing it's like the cowboys are winning we we're finally on top and everything like that we finally get that hot chick even though she's a dead lay in the fucking bedroom Exactly. But we still have that hot chick that we can post on the on the mantle, yep. and everybody can it's see healthy. how it's badass I am. Exactly. But it, my, is it is it they're trying to get extra seat? Probably. It, is it is it evening at? It, it's still bad, and it, it's one of those things. It's just it's evening out. And sometimes it's just to get extra shit for their. But that's it. You can't trust anything anymore because oh, there's no. so much tampering on both sides with everything that 
you know, you, you, you almost can't even trust in, in the entire process is broken. Yeah. And that, that's where we have, like, we go in deep dive into the problems that we have uh, around us. Right. I mean, if you go out and you want one thing done, like Ted Cruz's whole thing, the one, the one thing that he wants to change when he's in office is get rid of the IRS. Am I for that? Fuck yeah, I am. Yeah. That would save me like 36% of my paycheck. But like, what are you going to replace it with? Yeah. I mean, it. we dug the hole back in the 30s, and we kept on digging. And, that, and that's our problem. Uh, it, it just, it got worse. It, it was, we kept on digging, and now we're in a hole that... It's bleak, but we can still come out of it. It's just going to take – if if we go through a different process and nobody fucks that process up – and I've, I've talked about this a lot. I was like, how are we going to get rid of the deficit? The deficit is this. It's like, well, the deficit is kind of a tit for tat. It's – some of it, it's being paid back because you have to have – any any business, any any government, any any – Anything in your life, you're gonna have to have debt. Your debt debt's inevitable. Right. You you're gonna have to have it. Yeah, it's just how you manage it. Right. And even rich people have debt. They don't go out buy that two million dollar house or that the hundred million dollar house off of they had the money. And a lot of people don't understand like a person that's like Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a hun the richest person in the world, I think, right now. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think Putin is only. <laughs> I think right. I, he might have been knocked out of first place, but yeah, uh, either way, he's up there. But a lot of people look at his assets and say it's like he has uh, one hundred and sixty-eight billion. I think the last time I looked, this is the last time I looked. It could be wrong. Put it in the comments. I don't care. Uh, but he doesn't have that money. Right. Assets that equal to that amount. That's stuff that he owns equals. Yeah. He, in stuff. in in hard cash, he probably has twenty bucks. Yeah. And, and that would surprise people. I was like Steve Jobs, how much money he? Okay, Steve Jobs, iPhones. How much money do you think he makes off the iPhone? Per iPhone. Not much. Five bucks. They actually. He actually said it. He he. He makes five bucks, which still, that's a yeah. lot of money. And a lot of people don't understand. It's like, it's like, they, they sold. they'll go up and they'll see the small amount. Yeah. And they only see the small amount. And this is the same thing with the mental, mental health problems we have. They only see the small amount. They don't see the, the small amount growing. Because all, yeah. all they do is see the small amount. They see the five bucks. Oh, he, he only makes five bucks off that fucking phone. Yeah. But how many phones have he sold? He sold if you well, thirty million phones or whatever, even that's that's we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, do a talking, small we'll do a small you're talking. Uh, we'll do a small amount. We'll go fifteen thousand phones times five equals he made seventy five bucks. Now he he sells like millions of these each year mm -hmm. off the new ones they come out with because it's like Call of Duty. I can't I can't play Call of Duty anymore because they keep up making the same thing and put it in a different magical package and people buy it. Yep. That's how That's the thing. Of, you hear the number one thing about people crying about microtransactions. Oh, this company is an EA is devil and they're the most evil corporation because they keep putting microtransactions in the in the games. They keep putting them because people keep buying them. Exactly. If you don't want microtransactions in the game, stop buying them. They will go away. I promise you. It's like uh, like Conan Conan Exiles game. I uh, I play yeah. it off and on. Uh, they have most of your stuff is microtransactions. They gave it the uh, eventually at one point in time they gave the free uh, game out for free. Mm -hmm. And now they're able to do that. The company was actually going under. 
Once they started selling the game, they started getting money enough to where they can start doing the the the, the extra stuff, the stuff. I was even even with World of Warcraft when World of Warcraft first came out, they wanted all this stuff, but they were only supposed to be able to get you a little bit. Eventually, they were able to update it. Now you're now you're uh, able to have flying mounts. You don't have to really use the Griffin to get around. Right. You don't have to do this, and you can get a faster mount. You can do this now. You can do that now. But it got to the point to where everybody was seeing the game as it was right then, but the people that didn't you know, follow it through didn't see how the game had evolved. They just see yeah. how the game is now. Yeah. And, and, it, and it goes out to the basic fact of, you know, well, we had it. We basically had like to go to the auction house and more Warcraft. We had to spend about four to five hours because it kept on lagging out. Yep. It's that whole crawling five miles uphill in snow. And then halfway through, you go in, you're in the desert to just to get to school. Yep. You had to eat dirt and we liked it. Those worms were tasty and we liked it. We liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're we're sitting at the two hour mark again uh we you got, we that's because we have good conversation if you have you know, we could probably pull up technically last time we could we would have almost had five hours we could have easily we, we could do an easy five hour on this one too if you didn't have things to do and if i didn't have things to do yep i mean it's just good conversation that's the reason why that's what i like about it uh and i love that you're a staple now uh i just <laughs> well, well one we're putting out good content one more and, and hopefully if if you actually listen to this and it, it it hits your heart and everything leave us a comment like uh kind of support us a little bit like that do we need it no do we want it kind of but you know or we're just happy we'll help somebody else out on their horrible day we either we made you laugh to where you peed your pants and you have a story to tell all your friends because you listen to this podcast and you peed yourself and you had to go to the store, change it and everything. Yes, I am long-winded on that one because yep. that actually Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about getting feedback on it. I, I want to hear I want to hear what, what you guys think. Like, uh, you know, good, bad, indifferent. Uh, feedback. I, I'm all about it. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm still surprised at that one troll that we I ended up getting. I, I say I, but it it, it was... It was only on my account. Yeah, <laughs> that I I do it, so I think I it's on me. You get a troll, you know you made it. Yeah, yeah. Even though I think I still to this day, I think he's like mentally challenged. I'm like <laughs> that. He he probably had it. This is this is what I'm putting in my life. I trolled that man and I made him cry. <laughs> and then you get into the reality where I'm like I'm I'm scratching my head. It's like. What's going on here? You're like, dude, you need to talk. <laughs> dude, we we can we can talk, talk, and have a good conversation. But but anyways, everybody, like I said, comment, and give us some feedback, and we'll get back to you. And I I have to get a feedback on this other person. I just gave them feedback today on, on one of the so, uh, psychos socios pass. And it's very interesting. Make this fa- fast, two minutes. But apparently. Uh, one of the victims' family came out, and it's a cousin of the girl, and she's like, oh, you have no idea what's happening with this person. Uh, what happened during that time frame? What happened? I was like, dude, I have to have you on the show. Give me, yeah. Here's my email address. Here's my email address. Here's my phone number. Here's my uh, breast size. You know, weird shit like that. Yeah. But <laughs> We need to make this happen. Yeah. It, it's one of those things, and I just, I just can't wait to uh, them to get back at that to me and everything but anyways like i said i will it might take a little bit of time nowadays since i'm working and uh i am the sole proprietor of all their stuff and it, it does take me a little bit of time and i'm trying to make it faster and i don't like living on my phone yeah and it and sometimes i have to uh but thank you all for on so this is chris jacka i'm david dickerman Thank you all for listening of our stupidity.